be a blessing, not a burden, in all you do, academically and everything you have, means a ton. I also want to reiterate, I am not allowed to talk to you guys. So don't be offended if I don't, because I am not allowed to talk to you guys. Yeah. Question. <laughs> the bad, the bad, the bad fake punt. Yeah, uh, he didn't give it to me. We definitely, we had it in the year before when we played them because uh, their punt safe, which I know these guys know what punt safe is, but punt safe is when you're close to the 50 yard line and you don't rush the punter, you all sit back. Well, they had done it the same since I was there. They'd done it every game that way. They had done it that way uh, last year. And I'll regret it for an entire year not running it late in the game in the national championship game, which it was there. And we actually caught a different fake and we ended up punting the ball in that game. This game, it was there. We didn't snap it quite as fast as we wanted to. We felt like it was there. So they've changed their punt safe since. But no, he didn't give me that one. That was, uh, that was one we built in trying to beat his protection. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great story. Uh, he asked, I, I actually, I had notes from when I was here, I think four years ago, three years ago, and uh, I shared uh, an experience that I had where I went, we, every year we go out and do quality control, and I'm gonna try to say it fast, we fly out, and, and Nick was going to see uh, West Virginia, because they run 3-3 stacks, so he wanted to learn that. He sent me to, to New England, so I got to meet with Belichick and their defense coordinator at the time, was a guy named Dean Pease, who used to work for Nick, so I walk in the building, and the first sign you see is, do your job. Okay, I'm right out of this down. I wrote down, do your job. I went in the bathroom and it's like, do your job. I went outside and they had no, no pictures or trophies, no world championships. I don't know how many they had won at this point because it was around, it was around when my twins were uh, born. So it would probably be 10, 11 years ago. And I don't know how many they had, five, four, three, but all I know is everywhere in the organization it said, do your job, do your job. It's simple, it's an easy message. When you go home tonight, you can remember, do your job. Well, he defined what the job was for every guy in the organization, which I think we all do that, right? You teach people in your organization what to do. But he had a 53-man roster in the NFL. And just so you guys know, 53 is not a lot. 53 spots on an NFL roster. And he had every spot defined. The, the first receiver, got to be dominant, got to do this, got to do that. Second receiver, got to be able to do it. Third receiver, got to be able to play on all special teams, got to be able to play the slot, got to be able to do the fifth defensive back, the sixth. Every spot on the roster was defined to do your job. And as I left, I thought, you know, I'm going back to go save it. He's like, what'd you learn? I said, do your job. It was that simple. Uh, but that messaging really hit home because they bought into it. And when your organization buys into it, it makes it easy to be successful. Also, by the way, we had a great, I think one of the best things we do in our staff is Josh Lee and, and, and uh, Jay Chapman do a great job of having a high school coaches clinic. Last year, we had two speakers. You know who our two speakers were? Bill Belichick, Sean McVay. You know where both of them were last year? Super Bowl. So we, we, we take pride in giving back to our coaches because that's where you get a chance to go learn and grow as a coach. 